Hi everybody, this is your reading for Sunday the 17th of September. Thank you for being with me today. I'm still using the Radiant Rider Weight deck. Let's have a look at what's coming up for you today. And this is the deck I use in my readings. It's the one that is the most archetypal, that has the most clear kind of images, messages. And some of the decks can be so intricate and some of the creators get involved in changing all the suits and the symbolism and sometimes it you know the tarot is supposed to be a tool that allows you to open up your intuition but if the tarot is so complicated and it and it takes all of your concentration to simply interpret the cards then it makes it much more difficult to access that intuitive place. So if you're a beginner, I would suggest that you choose the simplest, simplest tarot deck that you can find because you're going to get the clearest answers. And even if you're a professional experienced tarot reader, I would still recommend that you use the simplest because the purer and simpler the answer, the more likely it is to be accurate. So that's my suggestion. Uh, what have we got here today? We've got the lovers. Then we have the two swords in reverse and we have the high priestess in reverse. Okay, so the lovers is the sixth card of the major arcana. It's really the, it's Adam and Eve, it's man and woman, it's soulmates, it's twin flames coming together. It's, it's finding that other person who you absolutely love and adore and who you want to spend the rest of your life with and that person who you feel is or has been divinely guided into your life and you feel blessed that this person is in your life and you want to spend as much time with them as possible. True love. So there is the potential for true love today, for the experience of true love. If you're in a relationship, you plan, plan some time today, go out today, enjoy yourself, be together, be intimate and enjoy this beautiful energy. If you're single, and you're dating, you're, you can possibly have a very positive experience. Um, and even if you're in a relationship that isn't doing so well, you can really go back to why you got together in the first place anyway, what you loved about each other, and you can recapture that. The lovers also refers to things that we love. So, if you discover a love for the piano today and it feels right that at this point in your life you're supposed to learn the piano then trust that and give yourself to that new love it's meant to happen something loving comes into your life and adds something to your life your love life becomes richer today the two of swords is a woman who is blind and who's frightened and who's trying to protect herself but she's really not doing a very good job because she's sitting in the middle of nowhere the water is steadily rising she doesn't see anyone coming her way those swords really don't protect any of her body and she's just paralyzed with fear she's in reverse there's no place for fear today you see things as they are you feel on top of things emotionally you feel content you feel good you feel loving you don't feel like you need to be defensive and you also don't feel like you need to hide or to turn a blind eye or to to um, pretend things aren't the way they are you're able to look at things truly and see them in a positive light the final card is the high priestess in reverse the high priestess when she's this way around is someone who is all-knowing and inactive. She's the Oracle of Delphi. She has all the answers. You go to her if you want to know what's happening in future, what's coming up in your life. She, behind this curtain, behind her little magic curtain, she's got all the answers to life. That's in reverse too. You're not meant to have all the answers for your life. You're not going to, when you meet this person or this thing that you love, you're not going to immediately be shown in the next 30 years how your life is going to develop and how, when you're going to get married and um, when he's going to pop the question and what the ring will look like and if 
how many children you'll have. You're not going to be shown all of that today. Today, it's step by step. You're given something wonderful and loving, but you're not given any guarantees or certainties with it. And I think that's understandable. I think that's relatable. You know, you meet someone, you're very interested in them, you, you want to get to know them more. You have no guarantee that that person is going to like you back, that that person isn't going to reject you, or that that person is going to fall in love with you. You have no guarantee of that. It's a blessing, and it's something that you don't have any control over, really. You have control over the fact that you can put yourself out there, but you don't have control over someone falling in love with you. That's something that happens through the divine. And that's why it's so important to get out of our own way sometimes. Because it's, it's something that we simply have no control over. And if you stomp and get angry that, you know, you deserve a partner at this point in your life and why have you still not got it? then look at that sense of entitlement and look at that sense of why would I need this and why do I demand it and why do I feel like I've not been treated fairly? Because all of those things are going to slow down the process and because you're so wrapped up in all of that going on, even if something did come into your life, you'd probably be too preoccupied to actually notice it. So look at this day without demanding that you have all the answers immediately and that you're being handed things with a guarantee and a seven-year warranty and a stamp of approval on them. Also realize that your vision is really clear today. There's nothing to be afraid of and you can put yourself out there and really find something that you absolutely love and adore. So it's time for you to go out into the world to connect with other people, to connect with things, to connect with nature to go out and about and to love something in your life. You actively, you go and proactively love something in your life and see what happens. You will get love back. When you give love out today, you will get it back. So this is another wonderful day of real positive energy. There's no room for fear. There's really no passivity. You're feeling active. You're feeling good. In the Northern Hemisphere here, we're kind of entering autumn now, so things are slowing down. The fire is kind of dying down. Uh, the you know it's getting cooler. It's getting it's it's getting darker earlier. But that that's external as well, and that really doesn't matter as far as this day is concerned. It's a day unto itself. It's a day for you to go out there and to be loving and to flex your love muscle. <laughs> well, that sounds a bit wrong. <laughs> but um, practice loving something, okay? Practice loving something and you'll be loved back. You'll find, you'll find love in return. And whether it's a person or a thing, you will be blessed with something. And it's kind of similar to yesterday's reading as well, where the fool came in, something new came into our lives. So it could even be that Saturday and Sunday blend into each other a little bit. And Something beautiful and wonderful and positive happens in your life and something that you love takes up residency and stays put. Six and two is eight and two is ten and ten reduces to one in numerology and one is about being a pioneer and being independent and taking action and taking charge and taking responsibility. So this is only going to happen if you're active. If you're passive, the high priestess, remember, is passive when she's this way around. She's in reverse. So being passive today is a big no-no. The big thing to do is to be active and to go out and about. And if you're housebound, then that's picking up the phone or writing an email or looking out the window at the beautiful scenery that you've got. Whatever you're working with, whatever situation you're in, you can add more love to your life regardless of how full of love your life is or how devoid of love your life is. And if you have no love in your life, you've got to start somewhere. Ideally, start with yourself. If you weren't loved as a child and no one's ever said, I love you, then why don't you do that for yourself? You know? 
it's so that kind of sim simplicity only occurred to me much later in my life in my 30s that you know the things that other people didn't do for me I'm the grown up now I can do that for myself and if my inner child is crying and is saying no one loves me and I'm I'm unworthy and no one cares then I can say there there you're wrong you are loved I love you and I'm going to be with you for the rest of your life I will never leave you and that's a promise you can keep because as long as you're around, you're going to be around. And that inner child isn't going to be abandoned. So this applies to all of us. Only thing is to take action and to make something happen. Have a great day. If you'd like a private reading with me, then get in touch via my website, which is gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading or just click on book your reading. It will take you to the readings page. I use astrology and tarot and numerology in my readings and it shows me a blueprint of your soul. It shows me what your strengths and weaknesses are, what your soul purpose is, what your vocational strengths are, what your vocational weaknesses are, what kind of jobs would work, what wouldn't work. Uh, I can also look at the predictive astrology and use the tarot to look at what's coming up in future. And the thing I feel I'm good at is getting the timings in terms of what's happening right because I've got so much earth in my chart so when is love going to come in when are you going to get that new job when's the best time to travel when's the best time to go back into education all of those kind of things we can look at so if you like me to read your chart or look at your cards then get in touch via the website if you like my videos then please subscribe to this channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow